I would have to say Aaron Rodgers of the Green Bay Packers. He uh, started at junior college, very much underrated, went to Cal, and he's now one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. And obviously, he's a Packer, so I have to love him, but also his, uh, his story is very inspiring to me. He's constantly underrated and overcoming. Uh, finish eventually. <laughs> uh, no, to win this boat race as the president and kind of go out on a high note. I think. Actually, probably the optimism that I can approach a longer with. I can uh, kind of trick my easiest person to lie to is yourself, so I can trick myself into enjoying three by twenty-five minutes on an herb. Uh, yeah, I guess I'd have to say Dwayne. It's my middle name. It's my grandfather's name. So. It's one of those hillbillyish names that invites you to address the person by it, so I'm Dwayne. Hmm, man, all of my interesting facts have been used up in these interviews over the last couple of years. Uh, I said I was a great Tetris player, I used to be a very good American football player. I, I qualified for the Wisconsin State Basketball Tournament as the starting center and went 15-2 in my varsity career, so I was quite good at basketball as well. Actually, probably winning the boat race in my first year. Obviously, it was uh, quite the day, but to be part of a race like that is something I'll remember for a long time. I don't know that I've ever been starstruck necessarily, but I did see the Rolling Stones in concert when I was 18, and they had this big platform that kind of rose up and out into the center of the, this arena, and Mick Jagger was about 10 feet away from me, and so that was pretty but I didn't actually speak to him. So, I don't know that it counts, but it's as close as I come. From. Man, I, every guy in that boat that's in that boat is exactly where they belong. I wouldn't change any one of them.